Hello students! Welcome back to our science video. I will introduce to you a new concept in genetics which is the counterpart of Mendelian inheritance. This topic is non-Mendelian inheritance. It is any pattern of inheritance in which traits do not segregate in accordance with Mendel's laws. These laws describe the inheritance of traits linked to single genes on chromosomes in the nucleus. Incomplete dominance, sex-linked traits, and multiple alleles are the pattern of inheritance under this law. But for today's topic, we will only cover incomplete dominance. At the end of this video, viewers are expected to use the Punnett square to solve for non-Mendelian inheritance. But before we start with our lesson, let's review or recall first some of the terminologies we discussed about Mendelian inheritance. In the comment section below, type your answer for the definition or meaning of each word based on our discussion in Mendelian inheritance. The following words are Dominant traits Homozygous dominant Recessive traits Monohybrid cross, heterozygous, and phenotype. To start this lesson, let's analyze the given picture. Based on the picture, there is a homozygous dominant thread and a homozygous recessive white flower being crossed in the P generation. In Mendelian inheritance, the phenotype in the F1 generation should be red, following the idea of law of dominance, wherein a presence of one dominant allele will express a dominant trait. But in this picture, the offspring in the F1 generation is a pink flower, and more pink flowers are produced in the F2 generation. This concept in genetics reveals the concept of incomplete dominance. What is incomplete dominance? One allele doesn't completely mask the other, resulting somewhere in between. It only means that the dominant allele did not completely mask or cover the other allele that result in the combination of both alleles. As an example, in 4 o'clock flowers, neither red or white is dominant. When a homozygous red flower mixed with a homozygous white flower, the alleles blend in the hybrid to produce pink flowers. Another example is in Andalusian chicken. Neither black or white are dominant. The offspring of a black feathered chicken and a white feathered chicken are blue. This concept in genetics is co-dominance, wherein both dominant alleles are expressed. Another example of co-dominance is in the ABO blood typing. This topic will be discussed more in multiple alleles. Let's try to solve sample problems and determine the phenotypic and genotypic ratio using the Punnett square. Show the cross between a pink and a white flower. The possible phenotypes and genotypes of the cross are the following. Pink, white, pink, and white. Based on the Punnett square, the genotypes are 50% heterozygous pink and 50% homozygous recessive white. That gives 1 is to 1 ratio. While for the phenotypes, we have 50% pink and 50% white that also gives 1 is to 1 ratio. Show the cross between a pink and another pink flower. The possible phenotypes and genotypes of the cross are the following. Red pink, another pink, and white. Based on the Punnett square, the genotypes are 25% homozygous dominant red, 50% heterozygous pink, and 25% homozygous recessive white that gives 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio. While for the phenotypes, we have 25% red, 50% pink, and 25% white that also gives 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more science educational videos.